Hi everyone, it's Naivin, and today I am making Copper Cube 6 tutorial video. This is a game engine which is available for free. Link is down in the description. In previous videos, I've talked about basics of Copper Cube 6, about texturing, but now I'm making a very special tutorial about skyboxes. And not to brag, but I am sure that there are not skybox tutorial videos on YouTube. So this is first and pretty unique one because I will be revealing some of the secrets which I've learned working with skyboxes. First of all, let's start with the basics. As you can see, we have the default startup skybox. We can delete this and then you just get plain background color. As you can go down to the properties, you can change the color. You can make it all black, all dark. You can make it white. Or you can also make it a different color, for example, green. And this will have just the generic color. I will make an example. Let's just make plain. Let's make terrain. As we know, we go here to create we click on terrain then we click default or we can also do topology different one for example flat then we press ok and it creates a default flat surface we create 3d camera for us to help navigate and publish as you can see we have a one colored skybox we can make this black background color we can make this all black and this looks decent right it looks all right but we just need that realistic look of the skybox that many people want for example for space adventure or for uh, night sky or something like that we can add skybox using our prefabs. If we go down to the prefabs, we have a couple of skyboxes. For example, we have default skybox, this one. Uh, we also have blue skybox, like this, as you can see. This is a blue skybox. We also do have sunset skybox. And as you can see, everything is applied and it's kind of nice, very nice. This is how you use skyboxes. And then you have all the textures for those skyboxes. But what if you want your game to be very special? Let's delete all those skyboxes. Like this. Delete and delete. What if you want to make a special skybox? Right? What you have to do? Well, first of all, we need a tool to use to make a skybox texture. And this is my friends, the tool, Space 3D. I will be giving link down in the description. This is a random skybox generator where you can put anything you want. For example, seed, let's say 12. It gen generates different tone. For example, uh, JK5. Uh, we can create FT4. And as you can see, you can kind of play with those and create different type of, uh, type of uh, skyboxes. You can also randomize the seed as you want, as you can see. It's very nice. Look, look, everything. It's all free. And you can also change the field of view if you want something which is very distant, like this, or something which is very close. Well, you want to keep them at uh, 50 degree, or yeah, 50, 50 is all right. This is okay. Then you can uh, check point stars. This is how it looks without all the things. See, it's all pitch black. But we need some sky. We need also sun. You can unclick on sun, it's alright. And you can have a bright stars, 
or point stars. You can also change the resolution. You can make it 4K and then you can uh, change the animation seed if you want it to go faster, if you want it to go slower, it depends all on your preference. And then you click on download skybox. When it downloads, you will have this type of skybox. This is a WinRAR zip archive. You can unzip this and after that, after you unzip the file, you will have those following pictures. You will have six different sides of the picture and then you will have the cube map. Now, for copper cube, we don't use cube map. You can use cube map just in case if you're using Unity, if you're using Unreal Engine, but for copper cube, we need those six faces. Now, why six? Because the cube has six faces. So let's delete terrain. Let's delete directional light, camera, and background color let's let's keep it this way okay now let's use our default skybox we click on default skybox as you can see and then we go to materials and we change each side of the cube with the picture which we downloaded now this is the tricky part, and you have to listen very carefully. I've tried many times how to do this, and I learned this trick, which is very useful. You must write down the numeration of those textures, and to, next to it, you write which side this is. I know this, but you can write it down while I'll tell you. So the first one is the right side. The second one is the front side. The third one is the left side. The fourth one is the back side. The sixth one, I mean the fifth one, excuse me, is the top side. And the sixth one is the bottom side. Now why we need this? Because when we will be adding the textures, as you can see, the window will come up and then we have to choose first one, as I said, is right side. So let's choose right side and then let's choose front side and third is the left side, fourth is back side, fifth is top and sixth is bottom. Now I will put all those in and you can see the final result. This is the final result of our skybox map. Now we create, we go, create terrain. We click on flat because we don't want any, you know, differences. Just click OK. And now we create camera. First person camera. Click OK and then we publish. And as you can see, we have a beautiful skybox. Now, this looks much more realistic than other skyboxes. And you can make any type of textures which you want. As I showed you, you can go to that page. Link is in the description. You can download anything you want and put it and create your own skybox and this is it for this tutorial oh i fell off the map and i'm going into the oblivion uh, <laughs> thanks everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed the video for everyone who had trouble following me in this tutorial I will be leaving some additional information in the description of this video and just in case if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment section and I will of course answer any questions thanks everyone for watching once again and have amazing day